Here's the next important lesson. All right, so you're back in Classcraft, and you go to Quests. And you click on the Starship Equinox, and look, it shows you the quests that are darkened are the ones you've completed, and the ones that are still green are the ones you have to do. Well, let's zoom in a little bit here, and let's pick one of these. Now, if they have this little lightning bolt there, that means that when you complete it, it automatically unlocks the next one or next ones. If it doesn't have one of those, that means it has to be looked at and checked by me first. And just like in a game, if you don't beat that level, I'll give you some uh, information and feedback, and then you can try again till you beat the level, and then once I approve it, you'll unlock the next one. So in that way, you can tell which ones you can finish on your own, and which ones have to be checked by me. And if one of these aren't done correctly, I can still give you feedback and let you know, hey, go back and fix it, and I'll show you how. So let's say you're doing images on blog. Uh, blogs can be just text, but using images with your text makes them so much cooler. So we continue, and this assignment is super important, because when you publish a blog post to the internet for anyone to find and learn from what you are sharing, which is great, by the way. If you use pictures, they either have to be taken by you, drawn by you, uh, whether it's on paper or, or on a computer program, or you have to have pictures that uh, they gave permission to use. So whoever took a picture, if you search Google and their copyright, which most of them are, you can't just use it. That's illegal. But if they are Creative Commons, and that's what you're going to learn in this assignment here, or public domain, you can use those. Creative Commons are people who say, hey, yeah, just use mine if you want, but give me credit because I'm the one who took the picture. Public domain is even better. Public domain is like, hey, these pictures are just free to the public. That's us. So this teaches you how to find public domain pictures. Uh, and it also shows you how to put it on your blog. Now, this assignment to be done, you have to actually publish a blog post. So if you just go here and say, this is great, I learned about Creative Commons images. Let me fix the spelling on that. Um, if you submit that and you're done and it takes you to the next one, what went wrong there? Give you a moment to think about that. So if you were thinking, you never published a blog post, you're right. <gasps> what just happened? I lost the next assignment. Well, let me click on this one and see what happened. So I go to task, I go to assignment. <gasps> I got some feedback. Oh, dear. And Mr. Gonzalez, that's me, wrote, hey, test. You need to actually write a blog post and put an image on it showing that you learned how to find Creative Commons or public domain images and that you learned how to add them to blog posts. Do that. Paste the link here and resubmit when you're done so that I can approve this assignment. Of course, I forgot to do that. So I open up a new link. Go to blogger.com. See, I just spaced it out and didn't read it carefully or something. So let's say I've got a blog post here with an image. Oh yeah. And I don't want to preview my blog post because I want it to be live, right? So I go, all right, this is ready. This is good. Let's go back here. Back here. Click on view blog. Find the blog post I want. And this will be when you've got a whole bunch of blog posts. Find the one I want to share. Click on the link, control C to copy. I don't want to try collections. And then go to Classcraft, get rid of all that, control V to paste, and now I resubmit. And now when Mr. G comes back to my um, assignment, he's going to see that I did it right, and I'll be able to read, switching now to I, I'll be able to read your post and see your photo, which is what is great. I want to see your work. And here's where, I guess, where the confusion happened. 
Um, it said, that's it. Now publish your post. I don't know if that made sense. Maybe I need to change the instructions. And it says here at the submission details, once your blog post is published, copy and paste the link to it in the assignment section to submit this quest. Oh, that's this one. And that's how you know. So it, it actually told you here that you were going to write a blog post. And there's an important part here, too. Um, you're going to get an assignment to put a widget on your blog post and to put a YouTube. And then you're going to have another blogging assignment. You can't use the same blog post on two assignments and get double XP in gold for one post. So make sure you don't make that mistake. I've seen it happen before. Every assignment that says write a blog post, you got to write a brand new one. You got to put in the work to get the XP and the gold to level up and, and uh, do well on the game of Classcraft. And look at that. When you start finishing those, you're getting real close to the end of the Starship Equinox quest. So good luck. And make sure on all those assignments, you write a different blog post and follow all the instructions. Read them carefully.